Scaling your Facebook ads isn't just about throwing more money at them. It's a strategy and there's one simple thing that can make it a whole lot easier. What's up everyone? Today's video is all about mastering the art of scaling your Facebook ads like a pro. We're talking about turning those clicks into real conversion and getting the most result possible for your brand. Well, with scaling, something that often surprises newcomers in the business world is that there are only two ways to go about it horizontal scaling, and vertical scaling. So, I've received countless questions like, Ian, which strategy should I go for? If you're asking yourself the same question, don't worry, we'll explore both of these methods. By the end of this video, you have a clear idea of which one suits your business the best. Alright guys, the first way is called horizontal scaling. Basically, that means you duplicate existing campaigns adding ad sets and making some changes in order to reach larger audiences. But here's the deal. This isn't just about making things bigger, it's also about making them better. So when you're doing horizontal scaling, you've got two things to make better, your creative and your audience. But here's the trick, work on one thing at a time. Start by optimizing your ad's creative before you dive into audience testing. This way, you'll know what really is working and drive positive results. So, let's talk about the creative part. Before you dive in and start crafting your ads, it's important to know where you're starting from. There are two cases, gain some data about your creative or launch a whole new ad from scratch. First, if you had ads in the past, that's your starting point. Take a good look at how those performed and analyze your data. This will give you some clues about what your audience likes. And what I recommend is to get a bit experimental and overall, there are four main elements or attributes for your ad's creative. Primary text, images or video, headline, and description. You need to test all of these attributes one by one, then pass to the next element by using the winning previous element. This way, you'll figure out exactly which elements are driving success, and then you can use it to optimize the next attribute. But if you're starting from scratch without any past data to help you out, don't worry, start testing new app concept. Think about before and after shots, or unboxing videos, or comparing what you ordered with what you actually got. You can also do listing 5 reasons why you're awesome, so showing off some of your testimonials, and highlighting your product's top feature. And here's some formats for the headline and description that are proven to work. I will put them all right here, so take some notes if it sounds good to you. Now, let's talk about the audience part. There are two smart ways to go about it. First up, you can narrow down your target audience based on the data from your previous campaign. If you've been successfully targeting a broader audience, how about selecting new interests to target? But don't just randomly pick interests, it might not work out. Instead, carefully check Facebook audience insight before making any decision. It's right there in your ads manager. All you have to do is to click all tools and then audience inside. Just like with your ads creative, you'll want to test attributes one at a time to figure out what works best for your business. Once you've identified a winning attribute, you can then use it as a benchmark to test the next one. The second way, if you want to play it safe, going broader with lookalike audiences is a good choice. It's a way your ads can reach new people who are likely to be interested in your business because they share similar characteristics to your existing customers. And your ads is delivered to that audience of people who are similar or, you know, look alike to your existing customer. When you create your lookalike audiences, you can not use a percentage range to choose how closely you want your new audience to match your source audience. The size you choose depends on your goals. Smaller percentages more closely match your source audience, but a larger percentage create a new, bigger, broader audience. Go for 3% to 5% lookalike audiences. That way you'll be able to scale your ad budget without the risk of exhausting the same audience. And here's a bonus tip! Whether you explore new interest-based audience or expand your lookalikes, it's recommended that you avoid overlaps of 20 to 30% by using the audience overlap tool. Simply head to your audiences, tick the boxes next to the audience that you want to compare, click action, and then show audience overlap. Alright, we've covered horizontal scaling, now let's dive into vertical scaling. 
This strategy is about increasing ad spend without many adjustments to the campaign structure. But there are some key things to keep an eye on when you're investing more in your ad budgets. Start by figuring out your acceptable cost per result. Be realistic here. Once you've got that, increase your budget gradually when you hit that acceptable cost per result mark. Avoid increasing your budget too quickly as it will lead to poor performance ads because Facebook will need some time to learn and optimize your ads. And when it comes to bidding strategy, if you're using the default lowest cost strategy on Facebook, why not switch it up to cost cap? Cost cap will allow you to set the maximum cost per acquisition for a purchase. Facebook will keep your average CPA at or below that cap. Here's the tip. Try increasing your bid to the maximum amount when you're willing to spend, and then slowly reduce it. This way, you can pinpoint your maximum scaling level, maintain control over your cost per results, and get the best possible result while staying within your target cost per action. It's all about keeping things in check and optimizing for success. As for going vertical, keep a close eye on your return on ad spend. If it's staying the same, it might be a sign that your ad set is reaching its peak performance. In this case, you'll need to increase the size of your audience. Simple as that. So, which one should you pick? Horizontal or vertical scaling? Here's the deal. Horizontal scaling is more about optimizing your ads with the different target audience options. Different creatives to find the high performing ones and run profitable ads campaign. On the flip side, Vertical scaling is the way to go when you've managed to build a campaign structure that really works and you don't want to make any adjustment to it that might ruin your ad's performance. So, try to do a combination of both. Start with horizontal scaling to get things just right and find what drives conversion. Once you've nailed that, switch to vertical scaling to boost your success even more. So remember, it's a two-step plan. First, start with horizontal and then switch over to vertical scaling. So, when your Facebook ads start making good money, you'll naturally want to expand your reach as much as possible. But at some point, you realize that it's time to try something different. That's when you should consider cross-channel advertising. As a customer communicate through diverse marketing channels, it is a great way to reach your potential customer across all touch points and launch more effective campaigns. Now, here's where our Nest app, our latest marketing attribution software comes in. Nest app will help you to unify all accurate data from multiple advertising platforms into one easy to use dashboard and uncover customer journey insights. Really helpful because you don't want to hit hard by the ongoing ad tracking blockage from Apple like almost all e-commerce brand owners. Give our Nest app a try to reach the right people on the right channel and at the right time. And that's a wrap for today's videos on Facebook ad scaling strategy. I hope you've gained valuable insight into how to launch a successful ads campaign and skyrocket your sales. Scaling your Facebook ad can be an exciting journey, but remember, there is no one-size-fits-all solution. It's all about testing, analyzing, and adapting to what works best for your specific business and audience. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on Facebook ad strategy. And don't forget to leave your comments or questions down below. We'd love to hear from you and help you navigate in the ever-changing war of Facebook ads. So goodbye and we'll see you in the next video.